You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hey everyone, and welcome to another fun episode of Ask Drone You. My name is Paul. And my name is Rob, and this is episode 891. Thank you guys for hanging out with us today. We appreciate it. We've got a question that I bet a lot of you are wondering about how to uh, overcome. Ooh, I would I'm interested as well. Um, again, uh, we want to just say a special thanks to a couple of our sponsors, your friends here at Drone You. If you haven't checked out the business course, or any of our newer courses that we've been coming out with, you got to check it out now. Go to DroneU.Education, where you'll also get instant access to the DroneU community. You can also try it for just $1. Go to DroneU.Education. Hi, this is John. I just watched you, two of you on a very interesting podcast about unlocking drones in the CGI Geo zones. In Canada, the red zone is off limits, but the yellow zone requires that 72 hour plus authorization process and i was interested particular question on you talk about the app when you're talking about unlocking yourself without the dji process and i'm wondering if that's the low limit drones.com app or another app really love to get an answer to this and my website in case you want to verify me a little bit is magic light photo.ca that's for canada awesome thank you john really appreciate the question appreciate you listening and like i said a lot of folks i think are wondering how they can do this and uh, be more productive <clears throat> well just to be clear we actually have a video coming out on how to unlock a red zone a red zone is typically a dod zone and some of the zones have been extended beyond what they're actually supposed to cover um, we also talk about when you do have authorization, um, what you can do. Essentially, it's the workflow and process of how to unlock the area. Now, typically, how you do it is through the DJI uh, website, through dji.com forward slash fly safe, and you go through that way. I'm not going to go through the process on this show. If you want to check it out, just go to our website, droneu.education, um, and just you know search how to unlock a red zone, and you should be able to pull it up. Now... That being said, the, uh, you know, he, he asked about in Canada in a red zone, um, you know, there, I'm sure that there are protocols, but this is th how to unlock a red zone is not really done through an app. Again, it's done online. You can try to do it through your application, but for custom zones like red zones, you typically cannot do it. Now he's asking about Canada. You typically need 72 hours to unlock a yellow zone to go through Transport Canada. Going through Transport Canada is one thing you need to get. Um, you need to get approval from them before you unlock a zone on DJI, because DJI you typically have to send in a couple documents saying that you have permission, providing an area of the map, or in the United States the UAS FM. But I do just want to preface that every time you want to unlock a red zone, it's going to be different depending on what country you are in. Typically, we're talking about the United States here in this podcast, but we do know a lot of our members are international, and we do need to cater them to them as well. Uh, and with that being said, the process, again, is always state agency first, then DJI. I think that is a pretty succinct answer. Pretty straightforward. And if There's they not do, really much else to say unless I missed the point of his question. No, I, I mean, he was asking specifically which app, but I think you're saying you just do it through DJI's app. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's where now, it happens. Now, if you're trying to get, like, you're trying to fly in an area in the United States and you need LANC capability, then maybe you'll try Kitty Hawk. So. Okay. So, but it's a process and you go into it in the video that you guys did and that now are we putting that on for members only or is that going to be for everybody? I think it's members only. Okay. Yeah, I think it's members only. All so. right. Well, that gives us an opportunity to tell you about our 14 days for $1 trial period, because <laughs> <laughs> if you're uh, wanting to get that information, and I would assume that video will be up relatively soon. It's not yes. on the site yet, but Correct. it'll be in uh, probably in the resources section soon. The, and when I say soon, I would say 15 days at the most. Fair? Very fair. Is yeah. it done? Yeah, okay. I think it should be fair. Yeah, so you'd want to... Get in and, and check that out. And hopefully stick around. Join the community. Be a part of what we're doing here at DroneU because um, it's a great group. A lot of folks – what I love about it, and we've said this over the years, but it continues to be the case to an even, an even deeper degree, is 
We've got everybody from the guy who just started flying yesterday and loves the idea of having a business based on something he loves doing to the guys who have been doing it for years, who've been flying RC vehicles for years and years and years, got into drones a few years back and there and there as well, helping the new guy, helping each other and uh, all done in a cordial, respectful way. It's, it's a phenomenal group of people. So that's what you'd have access to. Yeah, you could just uh, sign up today if you don't. And for those who have tried us before and you want more, well, now the business course is up and 33 other classes on top of that. So check it out. That is going to do it for us today. My name is Paul. My name is Rob. This is Ask Drone You. <laughs>